Hi guys and girls, well I'm still out in the countryside as you can see uh, I've got a little bit more time before I need to go out to work so I thought well you know I'll just keep recording see what I can come up with now what I've noticed is um, the word fat seems to upset and trigger a lot of people and whilst I can understand being called fat being labelled fat is obviously derogatory and upsetting and uh, it obviously cuts to the bone I think we've got to personally just take responsibility of the weight we are carrying I mean is as I've mentioned a few times I've, I've lost weight and uh, the greatest majority of that has been body fat it has been fat um, I never used to class myself as overweight I classed myself as being fat because I could see the visible fat on me I didn't class myself as thick um, heavy um, portly you know things like that. I always just classed myself as being fat I had too much fat on me I didn't have too much bone weight I didn't have too much organ weight and I certainly didn't have too much muscle weight um, it was all fat so whilst I do understand like you know me using the word fat might upset people and things like that I think what we've got to do is realize that we haven't been the sole cause of us putting fat on a lot of it is the guidelines and the products which are available which are made to be highly tasty and highly addictive in a lot of, a lot of ways and it's the majority of it is their fault if none of these products had been invented I pretty much guarantee none of us would be having this struggle you know we'd, we'd be pretty much like they were 100 years ago fitter and healthier obviously people back in them days they did have shorter lifespans but then again hygiene and medicines weren't anywhere near as good as they are now but we've got an awful lot of products and foods and drinks which are just killing us you know we've got to keep off this kind of crap because as tasty as it is it's usually the things you crave which are the worst for you and I've always believed that and I'll, I'll be honest I have kicked the backside out of eating and drinking the wrong things in, in my life you know bags of Haribo's I have eaten those till I'm sick and not talking just little bags and one or two bags I'm talking like four or five bags and thought nothing of it every time I went to the supermarket I would quite happily give myself a treat I had to buy a naughty treat for going to the supermarket and it would be at best a packet of fig rolls I don't know if you have those in the US but in the UK they're an old-fashioned kind of biscuit but high in sugar at the very worst it'd be one of those but usually it was either donuts or cookies um, especially if I could get a jumbo pack of chocolate chip cookies which were extra sweet and chewy I would murder those in the trip back from the supermarket now I live in the countryside as you can see it's just fields but my nearest supermarket is seven miles away that takes me 10 minutes so I would eat you know probably 500 calories worth of cookies in 10 minutes and if I could have got a second box down me I would have done so I'm as guilty as everyone else uh, I'm not certainly some kind of special case where I've, I've managed to lose weight and other people can't do it I'm not super strict in that you know no matter what the adversity and what the, the challenge is I'll succeed I have found things slightly difficult to be honest but I just don't want to live the rest of my life over fat and have that fat around my organs where it's going to shorten my life I've got a, a beautiful little boy well, I say little boy, he's, he's, he's 14, but you know, he's absolutely adore him. I want to spend the remaining part of my life having great times with him. I uh, want to have fun with him, I want to be as fit as what he is, I want to be run around and you know, enjoy life. Um, just because I'm 48 years old doesn't mean that I've got to be you know, old and decrepit and the laughing stock of other parents if I ever go to sports days and things. So, yeah. That's why I want to do it. I want to live a, a long and fruitful life as fit and as healthy as possible. I would love to have some abs. I'll be honest with you. It's not the be all and end all, but you know what? I've never really had nuts since I was about 
15 16 years old so the majority of my life i've had a great slab of fat across me my abs and my backside my backside's got a lot smaller but my abs are still covered in fat so it'd be nice to go on holiday take my shirt off jump in a pool and think you know what for my age i look pretty buff i look pretty good so getting back to the original topic is fat a bad word to use i think if it is, it's the context i think you, i think it's wrong to call people fat and um, i know the steak diet guy obviously uses his um call out you know hey fatty is is like a call to arms almost it's it is effective and i don't think he does it to humiliate people i think he does it to, to rile people up so they take action and stuff and i certainly don't take offense when i watch his videos often i'm literally pissing my pants with laughter listening to him i think he's very entertaining i think there's a lot of good information on his on his channels and things i certainly don't take offense but i think calling people fat or obese grotesque or a fat pig or anything i think is wrong but i think we do need to uh, take full responsibility of our current state but also understand that it wasn't all our doing if the dietary guidelines have been telling us to eat one way which is obviously the whole grains and plenty of carbohydrates moderate sugars low fat low protein or moderate protein and it's actually not that good for us then is it all our fault i would say no no it didn't but we've still had enough time during those years where we've been putting weight on to actually have realized this diet isn't working and made changes and i know what a lot of people are thinking well you know what we have noticed that we've put weight on we have put fat on and we have tried to make changes and there's all these different diet clubs out there weight watchers slimming world you know jenny craig and stuff like that i mean you, you look at the products they all sell you know to go with those diets and uh, the quality of the information that's available with those diets and that you know i'd say a lot of it's shy it's just garbage you know it's it's just a a reduced version of what the guidelines say it just doesn't work i think the only way to to really get a grip of the the fact that we're we're holding is to make serious changes and changes for the good for the rest of our lives and i think the only way to do that is either do a ketogenic diet which is you know ultra low carb high fat moderate protein or like i'm on a carnivore diet which is just basically animal products and the fat which is with it and no carbs um, and go as long as possible between meals i think that's the only way to to really get the better of the the weight and the fat and the, the health conditions that we're all suffering because of being on the guidelines kind of diet and the, the products that we've been consuming i really don't think we should be uh, trying to add i don't know keterized kind of i know that's not even a real word but you know like you know these products which are keto friendly and you know fat bombs i don't think we should be adding crap like that to our diets and stuff we've got to wean ourselves off the stuff that's caused us problems in the first place so things like fat bombs and high protein low carb bars and you know zero carb drinks um, fake sugars don't need any of that kind of crap just keep to nature's best keep it as as nutrient dense as possible and just let your body readjust it might take months for your body to actually get used to these new highly dense nutritional foods and to start working effectively you might find for the first few weeks that nothing really happens or you know you're not getting the full benefit of it but over time your body will just think you know what this is nature's own this is nature's best let me do the best i can do with it it'll understand a steak or chicken or fish or eggs or or uh, you know things like milk and stuff like that a lot more easily than 
e numbers and additives and you know fake sugars i keep saying fake sugars but you know what they they drive me nuts more than anything because i've always been a sugar addict in this times you know when I've, I've sat and almost sobbed in the supermarket or the gas station or something like that because i've not bought myself you know one of those sugary treats and um, these sugar-free products and the, the fake sugars artificial sweeteners and stuff they give you the false impression that they're going to be better for you but i don't think your body can actually tell any difference and when i've done my you know glucose uh, testing and ketone testing if i have some erythritol or stevia aspartame or anything it's like you know to try and you know cut the, the sweet craving i get a spike now if it's if it's totally fake and has no sugar in it how's it doing that so i don't think my body personally can tell the difference so i've had to cut it all out and you know, I think that affects a lot of people. And there's this growing numbers of people complaining about aspartame poisoning. You know, they drink things like uh, Diet Coke. They're addicted to Diet Coke and they drink absolutely gallons of it, thinking it's doing them better. But it's just making them fatter um, and unhealthy, you know. I remember years and years ago, probably, what, 15, 16 years ago, I was, I was a personal trainer when I came out of the, the UK military. Uh, I was in the Royal Navy and I came out of out of that and I went into personal training people and I used to go all over the country you know training um, you know people who could afford me basically and you know what I had a, a really good business uh, but during that time I was training a fella who was the owner of about 40 different KFC franchises and I remember him saying to me that he, he couldn't tolerate KFC not because he didn't like the taste of it, he loved the taste of it, but if he just ate a piece of chicken, his joints would swell up and he would be in agony for days and days. And it's not until I've actually been on the, the carnivore diet that I've realised, well, you know what, there was something in that. You know, I can understand that now because I eat something crap and my joints ache. Whereas, you know, he was older than what I was. He was about 65 years old at the time. And because he's been eating KFC for, for years and years, I've, I've owned all these franchises, it had obviously, well, infected his body or poisoned his body to a degree where, you know, he actually swelled up almost like um, cellulitis, you know, where the skin just bloats and things. So it's obviously not very good for you, is it? So I know this has been a rant about uh, using the word fat and it's obviously digressed into, you know, bad foods and fake sugars and things like that but I think the only way we can get a grip of one hour body composition the amount of body fat we're holding and uh, our cravings for bad food and things like that is to break it down to simplicity just eat nature's own nature's best drink drink water maybe it's the odd coffee um, unsweetened of course and just just let your body do the rest i think you know building in as much exercise as possible i know that's not always easy i know it's not always convenient but i think even if you get out for walks same as like i'm i'm doing i think it's it's got a great benefit to you i think it's more important to to love the life that is around you than love what's on your plate to be obsessed about your family and your your life you know your scenery and environment and things like that rather than what you're going to eat on your next meal i think we've got to put our priorities right anyway it's been great speaking to you i know i do waffle on quite a bit um but you know i do appreciate all the comments and and likes um questions i do appreciate all, all those and if you've got any ideas for uh you know like videos and things like that just just leave a comment below on what you would like to know about or what we'd like a video about and i'll certainly do my best to help you anyway i shall speak to you soon take care wishing you all the best and loads of success bye